Hey guys, it's iPod Touch Help 8 here, and I'm back with another great video. My new video is on Android Lock XT for iPhone and iPod Touch. Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this video is going to be on Android Lock, which you can get for an iPod Touch 4th generation, which is what I'm going to be doing it on, or an iPod or an iPhone and all the devices actually you can get this thing called an Android lock which I'll show you right now you can unlock your iPod or iPhone with a designated um, pattern which is kind of sweet so uh, I'll show you guys how to get this it's actually very simple simple just open up Cydia and wait for Cydia to load and while Cydia is loading I'll tell you about a case review I'll be getting for the iPhone it is an OtterBox commuter case, and make sure you subscribe to me, because guess what? You'll be the first to see that. So uh, here we go, guys. We're going to open up Cydia, and we're going to go and look for uh, an app or a tweak called Android Lock. And it should be XT. XT. That's the best one. So uh, there it is. You can either get the, you can buy it for let's see how much it is. I believe it is dollar forty nine, or you can get the free version with a source I will have popping up right here. And uh, you show you how, I'll show you how to put the source in. You go to sources, edit, add, and then you add the source. It's very simple. So we'll go back into search. And I'm going to download the free one because I'm cheap. <laughs> All right. So where mine says modify, you click install, and then install again. Then click confirm, and it shall install this to your device. Bum bum bum. I think I'm gonna be cutting out because it's taking forever. Um, well, I don't actually have to show you it installing, so I'll just back out of that and it will actually have you respring your device so once you uh... once you finally get android lock off of uh... Cydia, it'll ask you to respring and then you go in, you'll go into settings and you will go to or scroll down a bit until you see android lock xt this is in the settings application itself and you click on android lock xt and it'll be unenabled so you click enabled and then if say you want to change your pattern or you'll, you'll have to change your pattern right away so you change your pattern so say you want that that's what you want it to be alright so you have to draw I'll draw my old one but first you have to draw the new pattern and then redraw it again to make sure you got it right right and then the new pattern is saved so then you close it and you open it and there it is. That's how you open your uh, device with Android Lock. It's a pretty nice tweak. I actually like it a lot. It makes it more secure for your uh, iPod and iPhone. Now you can also change the appearance. Say you want it to, uh, instead of slide to open, you want to tap to open. Like, like how mine is. You have to tap it. Tap to unlock. And then you open it. And uh, you also can cha change the element's opacity and uh, say what or you can leave the unlock thing blank or whatever and you can select a theme I like putting on H Android lock HQ because it's just high quality it's nicer looking uh, change behavior I don't really mess with any of this this is pretty pretty good except for the pattern requirement I like changing it to after five because I don't like having to enter it in a whole bunch of time and logging I don't really know what that is but it's there so yeah guys this is Android Lock XT and this has been a very quick video on how to get it and how to use it on an iPod Touch 4th generation and also on iPhone 4's because iPhone 4's are amazing but you know you know how that goes and uh so yeah guys please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, make sure you guys check out all my other videos. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.
Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description.